Hello everyone, I am Monica Bhushan and today we are starting lecture number 5 of Linear Algebra. In today's class, we are going to see what is orthogonal matrix. Okay, last class we discussed the inverse and adjoint of a matrix, fine. And today we are going to see that what is orthogonal matrix and what are the properties of it, fine. So orthogonal matrix is nothing but again it is a square matrix, okay. So if we are talking about orthogonal matrix, that means by default this is the square matrix, okay. If we can write as A, A, T, okay, equals I, equals A, T, A, then what is orthogonal matrix? Orthogonal matrix should satisfy this equality. Here what I have written down, suppose the matrix is A, any square matrix A I am talking about, the matrix is of order N cross N, okay. So, the product of this matrix A and its transpose AT giving me identity matrix of N order, okay. And the same is happening here also. That means if I am finding out the product of A transpose and A, again it is going to give me the identity matrix of same order, okay. So, if this condition satisfies, then we say that this is, this matrix A is orthogonal matrix, okay. And I hope that you know what is A transpose. We have covered A transpose, even we have covered identity matrix, right. Now, I can write again, if I am writing down A, A, T gives me I, that means I can write down that A transpose, right. A, T is what? A transpose is nothing but A inverse, Okay, last class only we have covered this concept A inverse, fine. So, we can write here that AT is A inverse, fine. So, this is my orthogonal matrix, fine. So, if A is orthogonal matrix, then AT, that means transpose of A will also be orthogonal matrix, okay. Then AT will also be orthogonal matrix. Even we can say that A inverse will also be orthogonal matrix. That means orthogonal matrix inverse as well as its transpose all are orthogonal in nature. An important property of A is what? Determinant of orthogonal matrix will either be 1 or minus 1. Fine. Now we are going to see the orthogonal matrix. We are going to find whether some given matrix of order 2 cross 2 or order 3 cross 3 is, uh, is orthogonal or not. Okay. So here is the question. Prove that A the matrix is what? The matrix has elements cos theta, sin theta, minus sin theta, cos theta is an orthogonal matrix of order 2. Second question is prove that this matrix, whatever is given to us is an orthogonal matrix of order 3. Fine. So, we are going to start with very first question. Okay. So, now what we have discussed that to prove that any matrix is orthogonal or not, what we are going to write? We are going to find the product of this matrix with its transpose and then we will check whether it is giving me the identity matrix or not. If it is going to give me identity matrix, then we will say that yes, this matrix is orthogonal matrix and if it happens, then it is also true that product of A, T and A will also give you identity matrix. Okay. So, this identity matrix will have which order? This matrix is of order 2 cross 2, right? No. So, this identity matrix will also have the order 2. Right, but how we write? I n, we write I n is identity matrix of order n. Here, this will be the identity matrix of order 2. How I can write identity matrix of order 2? The elements of identity matrix can only be zeros and 1s. Right now, so the diagonal will contain 1. Other two elements will be 0. So, I should get this as the answer. Okay, this is my A, right? I am writing down here A. Now, what I should write? Now, I am going to multiply this matrix with AT. What is AT? What is A transpose? What we have said that if A is this matrix, so A transpose will have what? This row will be written in the column fashion, right? No. So, I am going to write this row in the vertical line. Horizontal line will be written in the vertical fashion, right? Now, the second row I am going to write in the second column fashion. So, I am going to write here minus sine theta right now. This is my second row. Second row will be written in the column fashion, second column. Now, 
what I have to do? I have to just multiply these two matrices and I should get this as the answer. And we have covered, right, that how to multiply also the two matrices. So very first thing is, can I multiply this matrix? So what we have discussed that the first matrix column should be same as the second matrix row. Yes, this is same. So yes, we can find the multiplication of these two matrices and the resultant matrix will have which order? 2 cross 2, right? Not the remaining. So it will be having 2 cross 2 as the answer. Okay. How we do the multiplication? Very first row, I am going to multiply with very first column for this position element. Correct? No. So this is everything we have covered. So I am not going to discuss those things. I am just giving the answer. So this is what? Here I am going to write cos theta, okay, cos theta into cos theta plus this sin theta, okay, into sin theta. Fine, no? What should I do here? I am going to multiply this first row with the second column, okay? And why I am doing so? Because this position is what? Suppose this matrix, I am giving some name A. This position is what? First row, second column, right? This position, this element is having the position first row and second column. So, I should multiply first matrix, first row, okay? First matrix, first row and second matrix, second column. Second matrix, second column. This second digit will represent the column of second matrix. This first digit will, will represent the row of first matrix. Okay. So first row, second column. That means cos theta into minus sine theta. Fine. So I am writing down here cos theta. Okay. Into minus sine theta. Then what I should do here? Then sine theta. Then plus I am writing down sine theta into cos theta. Fine. Now, what should I write here? Now, this is the position of A. This row is 2 and the column is 1. Fine, no. This is what? Second row, first column. So, first matrix, second row, first matrix, second row and second matrix, first column. Second matrix, first column, I should multiply. Fine? So, that only I am going to do. What I am going to write here? Now, I am going to multiply minus sine theta, okay? Minus sine theta into cos theta. Okay, plus, plus this cos theta into sin theta, cos theta into sin theta, fine. Now, this position is what? A2, 2, two. second row, second column. So, if it is your A2, 2, two, that means first matrix, second uh, row and second matrix, second column, you should multiply. First matrix, second row and second matrix, second column. So, that only I am going to do here. That means minus sine theta into minus sine theta, right? I am writing here minus sine theta into minus sine theta plus cos theta into cos theta. Okay, cos theta into cos theta, fine? So, it will give you what? Cos square theta plus sine square theta. Correct? No, cos theta into cos theta is what? Cos square theta. Here, sine theta into sine theta is sine square theta. Now, what is here? This is your minus sine theta into cos theta. Plus cos theta into sin theta. It will give you 0. Fine. No? You don't have to write all those things what I am writing. Okay. Here again minus sin theta cos theta plus cos theta sin theta. It will get cancelled. It will give you 0. Now here what? Minus sin theta into minus sin theta will give you what? Sin square theta. Fine. No? Minus minus will become plus. And then cos square theta. So finally what I have got? I have got here. You must be knowing sin square theta plus cos square theta gives you 1. This gets cancelled. This will give you 0. This is 0. And sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Fine, no. So, this is what? This is nothing but the identity matrix of order 2. So, if you have got this as identity matrix, that means, yes, you have proved that this matrix is orthogonal matrix of order 2. And just to check, you can write this fashion also. Just to check whether you are getting identity matrix, if you are multiplying the transpose of this matrix and then you are multiplying it with the matrix itself you will get same answer same thing we have done here now we are going to see this question so prove that a is 1 by 7 is the what is this this is called as scalar multiplication fine no so this complete thing is the orthogonal matrix of order 3 so what should we do so so for simplicity we will Leave this 1 by 7 as it is. What I have to do? I have to multiply A with AT. Okay. A I am writing here 1 by 7. 
थ्री टू सिक्स माइनस सिक्स थ्री टू टू सिक्स माइनस थ्री एंड वॉट इज योर एटी दिस वन बाई सेवन विल बी एज इट इज करेक्ट नो एंड देन यू आर गोइंग टू राइट फर्स्ट रो इन फर्स्ट कॉलम फैशन सो इट विल बी थ्री टू सिक्स दिस रो आई एम राइटिंग इन कॉलम फैशन नाउ माइनस सिक्स थ्री टू इन द कॉलम फैशन एंड देन टू सिक्स माइनस थ्री इन द थर्ड कॉलम टू सिक्स माइनस थ्री देन वॉट यू विल बी डूइंग यू आर गोइंग टू मल्टीप्लाई फर्स्ट दिस वन बाय सेवन एंड वन बाय सेवन इट विल गिव यू वन बाय फोर्टी नाइन एंड देन यू हैव टू डू दिस मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन दिस इज योर थ्री क्रॉस थ्री मैट्रिक्स दिस इज योर थ्री क्रॉस थ्री मैट्रिक्स सो फर्स्ट मैट्रिक्स कॉलम एंड द सेकेंड मैट्रिक्स रो इज सेम सो रिजल्टेंट मैट्रिक्स सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज वॉट सो दैट मीन्स दैट दिस मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज पॉसिबल एंड द फाइनल रिजल्ट विल बी योर थ्री क्रॉस थ्री मैट्रिक्स Fine, no. So three cross three total nine elements will be there, right? So this answer you just you are going to write down. How you are going to write down for this position? So you are going to multiply this first row with the first column because this is your A one one. So first matrix, first row, all elements, and then first matrix, and then second matrix, first column, all elements. Fine. So that is what we have done here. And then once you are done with, you will find that this you are going to get, and then. what you can do this 1 by 49 is there right so that means we have seen this scalar multiplication correct no that means you are going to multiply this 1 by 49 to each and every element of this matrix that means what you are going to do 1 by 49 into 1 by 49 into 1 by 49 in each and every element so this is 1 this is 1 this is 1 and then all are zeros only so finally you have got identity matrix of order 3 fine that means you got the product of the matrix and its transpose as identity matrix of same order fine so that means this matrix a is orthogonal matrix fine so if you find this class useful please like and subscribe my channel thank you